deep chow fun. Guys, it's massive. Oh my god, this place is non-stop, so cool. I beat him seven to one. <laughs> she found a chunk of lamb in there. What is up, guys? My name is Carson, my beautiful wife. Her name is Sammy, and we are the complete couple. And uh, today we are here on the boardwalk. It is day number one, full day here in Atlantic City. And we have got Hell's Kitchen for you today. We've got a Pitbull concert, and we have got a ton of hotels that we are gonna go look Starting at. Starting at the south of the Strip. So stick around, we'll show you guys the boardwalk, and we'll see you guys at the first hotel. Here we go. Welcome to the world famous Atlantic City boardwalk. In case you wanna do what we're doing, we Ubered, it looks sketchy, to South Beach Beer Garden right here. And it's kind of the very south of the Strip. There's this building over here on the left. Uh, doesn't look like it's What's that? I don't think that's open. I think that's abandoned. So that looks abandoned. That's why we didn't start there. But we're like at the south of the strip and we're gonna do half of it today, half of it tomorrow. Let's go. Look, there's something about cats. No dogs. Boardwalk cat project. I wonder if there's cats. Maybe. But let's get going. That looks abandoned. <laughs> and this isn't open. And that is closed. <laughs> Maybe you know it's probably open during the day because it's like or um, in the summer because it's frozen drinks. Yeah, you're probably right. And pizza. And it's chilly out today. Yes. <laughs> well, let's see what the temp is. I love it. I love being cold. In case you're wondering what the weather is like. 44 out like today. This every day. A little windier on the freaking boardwalk. Let me tell you. Oh, that. it's windy. It's not bad until benches. Oh, All right, well, we'll show you guys first stop we go. Well, there hasn't been much to show you other than a lot. Abandoned. A lot of stuff is like beach shops that'll open in the summer. Everything else is abandoned. Look. So much abandoned stuff. Weird. Here's Tropicana coming up. We were there last night. That's where the it's dancing Christmas way. tree was. But we're going in from this side. So we're gonna go see it. Right, here we go, Tropicana. There's Casa Taco Bar. Oh, now it's hot. Well, it goes from cold to hot quick. Oh my gosh. It's massive. Right, we'll see where we go. Basically, just walking through Tropicana. We walk through the, the casino, and then this kind of ends you in the in the market, and then call it the market. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, a quarter. Caesars. Yeah, Caesars. Yeah, with, the, with the sky painted blue. Yeah, it's really cool. This shows up really good on camera. Shops, a lot of shops. It's kind of cool, there's two stories, like yeah. you can see all the way up there. Up here's the seeing Christmas tree. I don't think it stops. No, it definitely doesn't. I think it's all the time. I think you're right. I thought it was gonna do one song and then stop, but. No, I think it's constant. Yeah. And we're back. Well, we walked outside, and Sammy's doing her great job of map working. I'm gonna figure out how to get back to the boardwalk. Maybe. It kind of reminds me of New Orleans walking around here a little bit. Yeah. Like the French Quarter. Look, I found the beach. See? Ah, see? It's right there. There's the boardwalk. See, we did a good job. All right, we'll see you guys on the boardwalk. We actually found an open shop right when we came off the boardwalk. Finally. Did you find a koozie? Mm -hmm. We're looking for koozies. No, nope, he'll probably be able to tell you where one is. We struck out. No koozies. They don't use koozies here because it's 40 degrees outside. There might be a koozie in this one. See a koozie? See, I was getting frustrated. Look, guys, I got it. It's actually really we cute. We found one. I'm so excited. It's, it's really at that cute. store right over there. It was the only place with a normal koozie. All right, it's a big success. Well, look at this thing. Ah. It's a good game. Me and Sammy love arcades. Oh, nice! They got pinballs. I sell those. Here's their prizes. Fine. You can win a laptop for six hundred thousand. Pretty good. Lost that. Ah, there's actually a lot of stuff in this. I'm not gonna lie. The sign said the best prizes. I'm gonna give them some credit. That's good prizes. Give them some credit. They got some nice prizes. All right, on to the next. All right, on to the next. It got windy again. It got really windy, but there's really no action on this boardwalk. Not in the south, at least. I mean, like zero action. Everything's out of business or closed. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It is pretty, but look how cool this is. I'm sorry for the wind. It's like a stage. They got a Miss America pageant. It says home of the Miss America pageant since 1921. And there's a statue of her right there. This is home of the Miss America pageant since 1921. It's a long time. But again, it's just dead on here. Yeah, I mean- yeah, We've passed like 30 vacant buildings. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just absolutely dead. All right, we've made our way down now to Caesars. There's Rainforest Cafe. And there's a Rainforest Cafe. The wild place to shop and eat. Kind of cool. Now we're gonna go into Caesars. There's a Nobu in here. Looks like it goes all the way down there, too. Now it's starting to get busy down here. Look, it looks like it goes all the way down there, babe. Alrighty, let's head into Caesars. Go get some food. There we go. There's Caesars. 
I'm gonna put my recording away before we get in trouble. But look, there's Hell's Kitchen. This is where we're going tonight. Uh, we'll show you guys that tonight. And then uh, this is the cross section we were looking, and I was saying that was that glass building. So we're gonna go down there. Well, Sam didn't realize, even though I said it four times, what this was. So you guys can realize what it is. This is the other pier. It's the indoor pier, is what they call it. This is the, Look at the beach, crosswalk guys. right there. There's the pretty beach. Yeah, That's the boardwalk. The That's what we were just on. It's like an indoor, they call it like the indoor pier. There's the outdoor pier and then the indoor pier. And this goes all the way Let's up. Let's go look at the indoor pier. Oh, they have it's sugar down there. Uh, now that's what we need. That guy's easier. pushing those people. He's pushing them. You're not going to go any faster. That guy's literally walking. pushing those people right there. They're actually going slower. They're literally going slower than the people walking. All right, cool. Let's go see the indoor pier. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is like a mall. Yeah, you're right, babe. That's also closed. Temporary closed. God, they closed everything for the winter, man. Dude, everything's closed, bro. All right, guys. Well, there's not much to show you here, so we'll, back if we'll still bring you back if there's anything open. This is like where murders happen. I know. Maybe it's not going to help you Jesus Christ. We don't even know our reservations. Oh, my God. Sarah doesn't even know her own itinerary. We're not going. So I lied to you guys this whole time. I told you were mom, my mom, and the camera. We're not going there. That's tomorrow. Oh, my God. Sorry. We're going to... We were gonna go to Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill or UU Noodle Bar. We didn't book anything. We were just gonna wing it. Jeez. How did you do that, babe? You had me all hyped up. And just so everybody knows, this is what Sammy does. Here's our <laughs> itinerary. She does this even for my fa our family trips. Like when we go to skiing, we get a whole printout. Oh, this now is this really is nice. nice. Now this is a reason to come up here. Wow, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Wow, guys, look at this. That is awesome. Look how pretty that is. All right, well, we'll see if we find anything else. So yeah, I wouldn't visit this pier. There was nothing open, and there was nothing open. There actually was nothing open. It now, would be beautiful if it was open. The views, if you want to relax and get a drink and sit and watch the water, 10 out of 10. If you want to do anything, there's nothing here. Nope. Like, actually, there's nothing here. Nothing so, here. Great views, nothing here. It's all closed. Underwhelming. Very Back to Caesars to get some food. All right, now we gotta go eat. It's time to get you some food. Go get the noodle bar? Yeah, let's go. Now we're going to KWT Noodle. It's KWI. Oh, KWI Noodle. This is inside Caesars. Inside Caesars here. Here's the menu. Oh, they got man. Uh, they got wonton noodle soups. They got some soups. They got some stir fries. House specials. All right, let's go give her a shot. Well, we sat down and. Uh, Oddly, I don't know, they brought us these. They brought us two teas. We didn't order anything, they just brought it to us. Oh, it's definitely a nice tea. It smells kind of good. Uh, that feels authentic to me. Hmm, it smells nice. Really? It's too hot. I'll come back to it on that. It's wow. really, really hot. So they, they, they just brought these to us, two teas. All right, I'm being bold. I'm trying the tea. Trying the tea. It kind of tastes like Lipton standard tea. There you go, get Lipton tea. I don't think it is, but... I thought it would like taste different, but it just tastes like your normal, just like cup of tea. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. There you go. All right, so here is the bok choy. It comes with a side of white rice. It's really pretty, so you gotta try it out. She loves bok choy, so let's see what her thought is. Very good. I eat it without the rice. I just want to drink that. It's a good, really good bok choy. I had some rice with it. 10 out of 10, I would love the bok choy. There you go. Even though these places, choy. even all these Asian bistros are always so expensive. Even though they're outrageous, they're you get to go to outrageously this. priced. You could go to a steakhouse. You 100% could. Like, 100%. They're what always, they're always so expensive. Alright, so there is Sammy's... Beef chow fun. Beef chow fun. Guys, it's massive. It's literally huge. It looks amazing, though. It does look really pretty, though. All right, while we're on this, let's just try a bite of it. I know you're still, we, we, she literally just got back from getting her trillies yeah, and the food came. We just ordered this like two minutes ago. So that's all these Chinese places and these casinos, they have your food out literally in so minutes. Fast. It's crazy. Uh, good, but I've had better, but we're all good. There you go. Seven out of 10. Okay. We give you a lot though. All right. All right, so this was their special. It is pork, that's pork, shrimp, their shrimp, and chicken. With a side of rice. With a side of rice. We've decided this needs salt. It could also use salt. There you go. What do you think overall? Good book. Yeah. What's a rating though? Six out of ten. All right, so we're both going to go six out of tens. Ten out of ten, six, six. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. So I don't, I wouldn't come back. Oh, average. Yep. There you go. All 
right, guys, as always, we're very transparent. Here's our bill. Um, they do a AC luxury tax and then a New Jersey sales tax. So after everything came to $107.93, um, oh there. my god, your extra vegetables were $7. She didn't even give me it. Oh my gosh. Uh, so we, we do want to do recap. After we tried this, everything was bland. That's my problem really with it. Bland. It got worse, actually. We added salt. I never tried salt. It was so bland. I would say like 4 out of 10. Sam didn't even eat anything. I ate some of the meat. Because I was hungry, but it was really it's bland. I it added so extra veggies. They charge you $7 for, I don't even know what. So anyways, I actually give it like a 5.5 out of 10. Four. So there you go. All right, that's our review. We'll see you guys wherever we go. All right, well, we left Caesars. We're walking back down here, but look, that's what we saw last night. So good. Attached to Caesars, the hook. It's really cool. A little more action down here. A lot more action. Oh. That makes sense. You're starting to be in the center. Yeah, but we're heading to Bally's. What's in there? Oh, that's the Wild Wild West, I think. Yeah, the wild wild west casino. Yeah, I don't think this they was. Over here. Oh, look at that! There's a saloon that's open. Oh, oh. cool, good drink. This is actually really cool. Yeah, this is oh, where we were last night. This place was, this so place was cool. awesome. I liked it a lot. So this is the wild wild west. This is where we were last night, and I'll be honest with you, it was a vibe. The party was so. It was a vibe. It, was it really was. They had all the lights. Might have to come back here again. Maybe they'll have the bull tonight. The guy I asked, he said there's nightly. Uh, he said on weekends there's nightly music. Really fun. He was kind of an a-hole, it was the bartender, and he goes, yeah, but the, but the bands are normally pretty terrible. That's what he said. So, all right, cool, well, this is where we were. We're gonna get a drink. So fun. It was a blast. This place so is awesome. Fun. So this is Wild Wild West, attached to uh, Caesars. Great. It's really cool, awesome. All right, so we gotta show you this, it's kinda cool. These are all, this is in the Wild Wild West, where we were last night, but we didn't realize that this is all beer pong tables. Yeah. And they do beer pong tournaments. So it's, it's a bracket system. It's $15 to play. That comes with your beer, pitcher, and cups. Prizes given every Friday for winners. But tonight was two Wild West t-shirts with a hood. And then the, they actually have your rules. It like standard beer pong rules. 10 cups each side, um, two balls made, you get balls back. If it's bounces, you get the two cups. This is kind of crazy. You get two re-racks on this one though. Pretty cool. You can only call uh, Island once. Keep it civil. Beer pong tournaments, it's every Friday. There you go, it's every Friday. There you go, it's really cool. All right, so what we realized is while you're playing here, there's this little drink bar here, and when you play, like I'm gonna do a 225 bet, it's gonna go up. So watch. There it goes, we're at 90%, so I think this is gonna be a free drink. We get to do this, so we're gonna test it. All right, so we're at 100. So we're gonna do that. Drink category, drink order, beer, wine. No, they just got, let's just do like a Miller Lite. Let's do a draft Miller Lite, see what it does. Order received, great choice. Stay seated and we'll prepare your order. All right, we'll see if it comes. I think it's gonna be free. If so, that's really cool. Let's see how fast it comes. So it's it's exactly 14 after. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, we're gonna bail on our drink order. It's been uh, eight minutes. So uh, we're gonna bail on it. We're gonna try it another property. It does say pending order, but we're gonna bail on it. So but I'll it, let you know. It didn't say like order received. So yeah. I don't think it's going in. So I don't know. I don't think a drink. We're kind of in a dead part of the casino, yeah. so we think that's what it is. Right yeah. So kind of cool. Tucked between uh, the Wild Wild West Caesars and Bally's. And Bally's. Actually, I think this is is Bally's. Yeah, this is Bally's. So this is connected to Bally's. It's called the Yard. So literally, I'll be honest with you. We've been to Vegas many a times, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna give one props to Atlantic City. Very clean. Very clean. Inside. Insides. Everybody's been super really nice. nice. Really nice staff. Yeah. I'll be honest, there's no smoking in the casino, so you don't Except leave. Except for one little section. So you don't leave stinking. Yeah, and you're next to the one person you have to move. Yeah, so I'll be honest with you, I'm going to give it it's like, a lot to do. currently, a lot of currently I'm going to give it a, really like, it. like an 8 out of 10 right now. I mean, I'm, I'm very cold. impressed. Here's the yard. Oh, I mean, listen, if it was warm out here, it'd be fun. Yeah. Cornhole. You got cornhole out here. You got... Uh, Connect four. They've got over there. They're playing uh, Jenga. This is adorable. Hey, look! I bet there's a band out here that plays. I wonder if they'll be open tonight. No, Cornhole. it's probably way too cold. It's too cold. Well, no, they got heaters. We need down to come out here and try it out. Look at this place. It's like it's slammed too. Oh, this place is awesome. I lied. I'm glad we came in here. The wings smell amazing. Bars happening, and it's attached to the casino. There's an arcade in there. Very cool. So kind of cool. We didn't realize that they do have a New Year's Eve special here. Uh, it was $75, unlimited open bar from 9 to 11 with hors d'oeuvres. 
and then cash bar from 11 to 2. So if ours sucks, we're gonna go here? So we're gonna come here if ours is terrible. And then this is kinda cool here. They have a tailgate buffet for 35 bucks a person. Coleslaw, mac and cheese, corn, barbecue chicken. Absolute bargain. It's a really cool place. I told you I wanted to go here. Yeah. And then I think it backs right into Bailey's. Or Bailey's. Yeah. Bailey's. Hotel check-in. All right, we'll figure out where we're going. So what do they have here? A carousel bar. It Look. moves. And it rotates. <laughs> so that's that the carousel no bar. That's that is cool. So cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. I beat him seven to one. <laughs> That's iconic. It's rare. Also, we're in the Bally's game room, and they do good old fashioned Tokens. Seven to one, terrible. Well, guys, they care here. If you think you might have a gambling problem, chances are you do. <laughs> so aggressive. I was dying laughing at that. All right, so, same one's little snack, because lunch was terrible. But we're gonna take the stairway to heaven here. It's terrifying to look at, to be honest. I don't really want to go up it. I don't know if you guys can appreciate that. It's really high. Like, look at me in front of me. Oh, yeah, it's up. I'm kind of scared. If you've seen Final Destination, this is not going to go. Let's go. It's making noises. That one was making noises. What do you think so far? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Sammy bailed on me. It's kind of creepy, actually. It kind of feels kind of nauseously. Oh, my God. I want to get off of this thing. It's freaking me out. Oh my god, I want to get off. That actually oh, started. That was way too high. Well, I, I have a bad fear out, of heights, and that really freaked That started freaking me out. I think you're wrong, dude. There's no food up here. We found it. What is it? Closed. It's closed. It's closed. Right, let's go. Back down we go. Oh, down so much better. I know we, I think I recorded going up this, but I don't know if we showed you the food court or not earlier. I think we did. I don't know. Did we show them? There's not I much here, French fry. but we're gonna go get a little snack. So you got Choo Choo's pizza, and you got the Sacco subs. Oh, here's your sack of subs. He you said this. Here we go. We're gonna need a sack of sub. It's pretty busy, dude. All right, we're gonna order a sub. We'll show you what we get. Sammy can't make up her mind. It's way too many options. Once again, I am so sorry, but of course, you guys know we had camera trouble this trip, but I promise we fixed it. But anyway, we got their regular sub. It's literally just called a regular. It had Italian meats and provolone cheese, and then there was like onion, lettuce, tomato. Honestly, surprisingly, fantastic. This is me. I'm like totally shocked. It kind of is like a Jersey Mike sub if you've ever had that. If you live somewhere that has that, it's got uh, like Mike's way. It's got like olive oil, vinaigrette, um, oregano. So really good, soft bread. I was absolutely shocked. I thought this was going to taste like total crap. Carson tasted it. He absolutely liked it, like loved it too. We didn't finish the whole thing because we had dinner. We just wanted to have a little snack. But uh, yeah, so if you're in Bally's, check out Sack of Subs, I guess, because surprisingly, fantastic. And Carson agreed. So there is the Sack of Subs review. And after we left Bally's, we went back out on the boardwalk to continue walking down. We found a lot more shops to be open, which was really nice. Lots of hoodies, jackets, sweatsuits, all the things. Lots of Atlantic City, you know, merchandise and touristy items. So we walked down here for a while. Again, nice to see some stuff being open. And I promise the mic's going to turn back on here in a second. But I am going to show you where we head to after this. So, of course, I'm very adventurous, and I like to go off the beaten path, and I was trying to find this Irish pub, and we found some locals who told us how to get there, and somehow I went the back way. I'm not really sure. Carson did not trust me at all, but I led him down this back hallway. Twists and turns looked so creepy. I definitely thought we were not in the right place. Carson 100% did not want to walk down the hallway. I had to definitely lure him, and then there was literally this door, and I went through it, and then there was another door, and then you are going to see that we actually make it here in the Irish pub, which was so fun. Bump in such a cool place, but yep, sorry the mic was off, but that should be pretty much it. I think there's a little bit at the end of the video, but other than that, let's get right back into it, and let's go see this Irish pub. All right, come trust me. Oh my gosh. Equipment. And then you go in and take a freaking speakeasy. Just wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is sick. Oh my god. I told you I walked in here and I was like, oh, okay. It's good. I thought no one would be in here. Oh my god, it's happening. Wow, okay, cool. We're gonna grab a menu. This is crazy. We're gonna see what they have and like come back to eat in an hour. 
Yeah, we're gonna grab a drink and walk around though if we don't come back. Alright, so this place is so, cash only. Yeah. For two of our drinks was nice. It was eleven dollars. So that's a bargain. And this is what he called Santa's Wonderland. Our Uber driver also recommended this, but I did see it and it had really good reviews. This is the menu in case you want to eat here. For the holidays. Here's they have, the holiday they have menu. Special. They did a shortened menu. And it's only cash. It is ca it is credit cardless. So most places are going cashless. And they're going this cardless. is cardless. It's pretty cool. It's like a, uh, it kind of reminds me of a speakeasy. It really box. does. And here then, it is. So Merry Christmas. Again, the bar is popping. It's really like, I just want to sit here and eat just to eat. Look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they need to Oh my god, this place is non-stop, so cool. Look at that. There's your Ferris wheel. It's so cool. It's like tucked in here out of nowhere. It's almost hard to walk around. It was like, I didn't want to go in the door. And then I said equipment, and I was like, this can't be right. It's so hard to walk around. Here, welcome. So All right. Cute. Bye bye. And here's their shop. Atlantic City no, Irish Pub. 1972 established. Oh, yeah, it does. That's actually kind of cute. I didn't realize the Eagles are here. This I, don't e I don't think the Eagles are here. Philadelphia. Where's Philadelphia? Right across from us. That's why. Yeah. We'll show you guys where we got to. This is so cool. It's much less scary. We found out the entrance. This makes a lot more sense. Here you go. Uh, Irish okay. Pub. There it is. There's the entrance. Makes a lot more sense. Look at there's the That's so cool. Beautiful nativity scene. The nutcrackers. Nutcrackers, Irish pub. There it is. There's the entrance. That's the one you want. It's right across from Nothing. The Hard Rock and Knights Pub in the King's Pub. Maybe they have good food. There you go. Should we go look? No. Or should we go get a little train back to uh Caesar's? Let's head back. Let's go. That was fun. Alright, so we are taking one of these uh tuk tuks kind of. Like what we did in um where were we? Portugal. Portugal. Here's kind of the pricing. Uh, we're doing 20 bucks to go to Caesars. Caesars because it's kind of cold outside. So, uh, can't really see much. No, but you can do a tour. I think that would be tour. fun. I guess you're really just looking for the boardwalk though. But it'd still be nice. Yeah. Just wanted to chill. Where we're going? We'll see how long it takes. Yeah. All right, so we're testing this drink out again. Finally, this one looks way better. We just put it in like a minute ago, and this one actually will tell you received, and then started, started, prepared, pick up on the way. Oh, so, prepared. oh my God, don't move! Something great's coming our way from Shawnita. Okay. You get a dollar now I will tell you, it's been dollar. literally one minute. Yeah, that was. So really we'll fun. see how actually this goes, but that's kind of cool. So all right, well we'll see how it goes. And there's a big win. There's a big win. Coming our way. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna give a raving review. Oh, we placed like this order. Minutes, I think it took literally five minutes total for yeah. us to place it. We've got a free bet. Basically, you have to bet uh, it's six dollars worth, I think. Yeah, it's like Six that. bucks is all it Maybe takes. Eight. Six to eight dollars that gives yeah. you a free drink. And uh, we got a free drink. So it does work. We tipped her two bucks and it came really quick. So yeah. honestly, win win. I think it literally took five minutes. So win win. Okay. And we cashed out like a hundred bucks up. So. We've been really down, so it worked out. All right, cool. We'll see you guys where we go. All right, so it is 6.30. We are getting ready to have dinner before our Pitbull concert, and we are going to eat here at the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. It's a huge spot here. The place is massive. Inside Caesars here. So Sammy's got a reservation at 6 for us. So we're going to sit down and have some dinner. Then we're going to head off to the Pitbull concert, which is over at Hard Rock. I think we had some pretty good seats for that. I think we got a reservation. It's a 45 minute wait for the bar and a little over an hour for a table. Wow, good job, babe. We just got here before everyone else. Good really. job. All right, so we're gonna sit down here in a bit and have some food. All right, so kind of a rustic menu, it would feel. But starters, they got buffalo style cauliflower, not feeling that. They got a slow gummas board, some kind of duck poutine, seared pork belly. They got some salads, some sandwiches, a burrata salad, which actually sounds really good. We should have done that. We are doing a grilled asparagus starter. 
and we're doing an English style soup and they do have some pub pies something from the grill and the classic Ramsey your beef wellington and they do have the pub experience menu which isn't a bad idea actually so, uh, so that's what we're looking at alrighty so we got our apps that is the uh, French onion soup or their take on it and we did a little we'd like to do this we did uh, asparagus with cheese as an appetizer. Sammy wanted those, so we got those. And then I got a French dip, and what did you get? A chicken pot pie? Shepherd's pie. Oh, shepherd's pie. Please don't hate us, but the mic was off again. I know, I promise future videos, guys, we have fixed this. But anyway, into the appetizers. We were surprised, they were very good, actually. We really liked the asparagus. It had just enough cheese. It was cooked right at the right texture, and also had good flavors, so we enjoyed that. And then the soup was also fantastic. Perfect melty cheese, really good flavor broth. So overall, the two appetizers we did get um, were really fantastic so we we enjoyed the appetizers but the rest of the dinner didn't really blow our socks off but we would recommend the appetizers all righty so I got the French dip with french fries and Sammy got the shepherd's pie Ooh, that was under heat lamp holy cow is which awesome. is her favorite test these out and let you know how they are all right so you tried a french fry how is a french fry Frozen. normal okay so just like a normal french fry there's the sandwich. It's not biased. Okay. It's actually really bad. It's bad? Wow. Why? Very dry. Okay. They, you know what it is? They put too much and it's too dry. I see. That's a lot of, that's a lot. Like versus cheese. Like where's the cheese? Is there you have like one bite. I'm not exaggerating. You'd actually eat around the side. You, would not, you would not like it. Guys, just so you know, the one from the airport, if you know, you know. Was 17 times better. Right. You can have my other half of this. Am I not exaggerating? No, it's not very good. It's really, it's actually really bad. I, I'm not, that's I don't saying know that I'm biased. Really, it's not good though. It's dry. Yeah, it's very dry. The one at the airport was a softer bun, more peppers and onion, more sauce, it and it was really tender. Very disappointing. Yeah, so there you go. Do you not order that? Let's see if this is any better. This looks good. It really does look crunchy. <laughs> Alrighty, Sammy's gonna try bite. hers. So that is cool. She found a chunk of lamb in there. That's a whole piece of lamb. That's, That's kind of cool. For you. That's too much lamb for me. Too lamby for me. She dips hers in ketchup. Weird. I was gonna smell her in ketchup, but I'm being nice to him, so I'm not doing it. So we can have. I can't give you a hundred percent review, but that bite was a ten. All right, we're gonna have to let it. We're gonna have to let it cool, and then we'll come back. Alrighty, so Sammy's officially able to dig in here. I will tell you, I took a bite. I thought it was good flavor, but very minty. I thought it was so overly minty. So, he had a big bite of lamb, like this big. Mine are like this big. But, I taste the mint. The milk is a little, it's a little minty, but I eat it with ketchup, so you really can't taste it as much. So, overall, I would give it a 7 out of 10. 7.3. There you go. 7.3 out of 10. I'm going to give mine a 2. Yeah, yours is really good. It was terrible. So there you go. All right, well, we're going to show you the bill. We will see you guys at Pitbull. Real quick, and here is the bill. I do not think it was worth $133. My personal opinion on it, I was not overly enthused, but there you go. You want to know? $133. We will see you guys at Pitbull. All right, guys, just before we leave here, one final remark. As you can see, I actually did not Solid eat it. Mess. It is as dry as dry can be. Absolutely terrible. And look That's how greasy that is. I want to say one thing. There's Sam no made one good point. There's not a single vegetable in this pot pie. And, and it comes out as... I didn't ask for a lamb chop. Not, this would be ground. It's so listen, ground I'm a little menu. okay with that look a little at, bit. Hold on, guys. Look. Look at all the chops. I'm not like, making it up. There, there's four of them. But where is the vegetable? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. We got a whopping one. There's a veggie. But... Lunch was a 4 out of 10. I would say this was like a 6 out of 10. I don't know. For me, it's a 0 out of 10. Yeah, but the appetizers weren't bad. That's true. That's true. And this actually, wasn't awful. It just actually, wasn't Actually, I'm going to go back. I will tell you, the soup was the best soup I've ever soup had. was good. The asparagus was good. Yep. This was okay. Usually, I have all these things planned out. Today was the wing it day. Always be a Yelp girly. Always listen to the Yelp We'll see you guys at uh, Pitbull. Uh, all right, so we uh, just finished dinner. I will say one thing. For all of you people out there that may say, oh, we're just hating on food. How you should know that I'm actually giving an honest review is we pay for everything we buy. I rarely send anything back. In fact, I didn't send anything back there. We paid for everything outright, and I'm giving you my honest truth review. It was worth sending back, and I paid for it. So, just so everybody knows, not just giving you bullshit. Not hating, just being honest. Not hating, just being honest. So, and right. when it's good, it is good. Yeah, we'll see you guys at Pitbull. Here we go, Hard Rock. Wow, it's slamming. I might have to go find a code check. 
I think I'm gonna have to. Here's the line, holy shit. Crazy. Here we go. So you are allowed this big of a bag. That bag made it. But not a whole backpack. That's fair. Yeah, I agree. I'll take that to the six inch bag. I agree. It is slammed. But the line was not long at all to check it. No, it was easy. Like, literally it was like one there. Easy. Yeah. But uh, I think other people have this idea. Holy God. This is going to be awesome. See you inside. Okay, so we might not film much because you are not allowed to film in here at all at any point. They're really strict about it. They actually took our camera to the security pit boss and asked if it was okay to have in the area. Um, but we were in. It was very easy, very fast, and now we're going to get a drink and we will show Let's go see Pitbull. Switch to the phones. We won't get yelled at, but here is the merch. Pretty cool. An $80 blanket. I don't know about that. Also, you guys, this was how much? $25? Yeah, it was $25 for this. So it must have been $20 for that. Yeah, this, I know it's 25. It was the Tito's half and half, $25. Hopefully there's more than one shot in there. Uh, Carson, oh, you also got a Reese's though. That was probably like $10. So, but yeah, it's your merch, pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna go in. All right, so here's our seats, we're G. We're about, I don't know, six, seven from the bottom. That is VIP standing and that is general admission standing. I'm glad we didn't do that because it did not say it was standing on the website. So in case you guys are wondering, it is definitely standing. But uh, I think it's going to be really good seats. I'm so excited. All right, here's the opener. It's just a DJ. One, two, three. Here we go. It was a cluster F a little bit. Oh my God, it was stressful. But we made it back to Borgata. Yeah. We are gonna do a little bit of casino gambling. I think we're gonna call it an earlier we're night We're gonna call tonight. it an earlier night. We're gonna get some food. We'll see you guys there. The show was an absolute 10. I've been to so, a lot of, we went to, remember, I don't know if you guys saw, we went to Michael Blue Blay. It was in, up uh, there with that. Uh, uh, Toronto. Toronto, and it was amazing. We had, we had amazing seats there. The seats here were also incredible. Pitbull was a I could have touched him. I, I just, I could have stayed there for two more hours. He was amazing. I could have listened to him. He was amazing. You don't appreciate how many hits Pitbull Dude, has. He's, I mean, it's on but, uh, but on a real note, you don't appreciate yes. how many hits he has until he starts singing them. Every major artist has some I knew rapping. every song. I knew every freaking song. Yeah. J-Lo was in one. Drake was in one. It was crazy. It was he's so amazing. good. So, uh, so we made it back. We're going to do that. Maybe but Hard Rock food. was not the vibe. It was so proud of it. Hard Rock was misery. So we got an Uber. Trying to win a Jaguar. We'll see you guys probably when we have some food. All right, guys, that is it tonight. We've got a ham and a cheese sandwich. We've got a grilled cheese. Maybe we'll show that to you guys when we get to the room. We might. But if we don't and we forget, this is our outro. Remember to hit that like button. Like button. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. And we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Well, lastly, here is our drunken food review. The mic was not on, which is probably um, in benefit for us because I this was just something else so we did get three sandwiches to show you we got a grilled cheese we got a ham sandwich and we got i think like a cuban i have no clue what the heck it was at this point looking back at it now um and obviously i guess they were good because carson's really enjoying this one i was contemplating the grilled cheese but probably loved it and then carson also dove into the ham sandwich which was massive good lord anyway this is borgata's late night food so if you are drunk and hungry 
honestly, it slaps. So there's the food review. Oh, Lord. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next Atlantic City video.